Factoring trinomials. To factor trinomial, we can use different methods. One of them is the reverse of FOIL. So if you remember the FOIL method, for example, we have x plus a, x plus a times x plus b, then the FOIL method says FOIL first means x times x is x squared out x times b is plus bx then a times x plus ax a times b the last so this one is in a times x and last is a times b plus ab now for these two if you take x out of this so factorize x then you can write it this way, x squared plus a plus b x and then plus a b. So if you have a trinomial like this, then you can write it as x plus a times x plus b. You can also use the method of difference of the squares. For example, if you have x uh, if you have x plus a times x minus a let's just use the foil and multiply these two x times x is x squared x times negative a is minus ax then a times x is plus ax a times negative a is minus a squared now these two cancel out because it's negative ax and positive ax. So these two cancel out. You get x squared minus a squared. So whenever you have a perfect square number subtracted from another perfect square number, then you can write the factors like this. The first one plus the second one, the, the first one, the root of the first one, x plus the root of the second one, times the root of the first one minus the root of the second one. Let's try some examples here. So let's get started from the reverse of FOIL. Here we have x squared plus 7x plus 12. So we know that 7 is actually a will plus b times x and 12 is a times b. So we're looking for two numbers. When you multiply them, you get 12. When you add them, you get 7. So you can choose different numbers. You can factorize both. If you factorize, for example, 12, you get 1 times 12. It could be 2 times 6, 3 times 4. So these three ways, you can write 12. So if you choose the first one, 1 plus 12 is not 7. 2 plus 6 is not 7. But 3 plus 4, yes, it is 7. So it is 3 plus 4. So it is actually x plus 3 times x plus 4. If you use FOIL and multiply these two, you get this. x squared plus 7x plus 12. Next one. Here, again, the sum of two numbers is negative 6. This number. And when you add them, you get 8. We're looking for two numbers negative 6. So we need to write as negative factors of a. It could be negative 1 times negative 8, negative 2 times negative 4, and just that's it. Negative 1. If you're looking for negative numbers, so negative 1 and negative 8 is not negative 6, but negative 2 minus 4 is negative 6. So it's negative 2 and negative 4. So it is a x minus 2, x minus 4. Next one, we're looking for two numbers. When you multiply, you get 10. When you add, you get seven. So if you factorize 10, you see that it's two times five is, and you, you can get the, the sum of these two is seven. So it is x plus two times x plus five. Here, the sum of two numbers is negative seven. If you add them, if you multiply, you get 12. If you add them, you get negative seven. So those numbers are, so we know that we need to write x. Since two numbers, the sum is negative, 
negative 7. So just think about the numbers. Those are, must be the factor of 12. If factor is 12 here, so it is 3 and 4, but it should be negative. So it's minus 3, minus 4. Here, x squared and 121. 121 is, you can write it as 11 squared. So a perfect square, like this one, is subtracted from another perfect square. So you can write the first root, which is x, plus the second root, which is 11, times x minus 11. If you multiply these two, you get x squared minus 121. Next one here. The sum of two numbers is 22. When you multiply, you get 121. So just factorize 121. One of the factors are 11 times 11. So 11 plus 11 is 22. That's right. So you can write x plus 11 times x plus 11. So this is the factor of these trinomials.